Hey guys, that's Lil. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have another book review. But before we get started, I have one thing I want to tell you guys, and it's I'm gonna start a new thing, and it's literally just for it's. And you might have heard, you might have heard of this, and this is good news. And basically, all I do is I tell something that's good about my week that's been going going good in life. I got a new book. I scored well on a test. It could be literally anything. I forgot to turn my ring light on. It could literally be anything, and I share it. And then you guys in the comment section, when YouTube stops disabling them, you guys in the comment section tell me your good news, and I'll respond to them. And I might not have time to do like all of them, but I don't get much comments. Reality. So, you know, who knows? You might get a comment back. But anyways, so my good news is... Well, actually, I have bad news first. My bad news is my needle popped, and I can't believe it popped. I was just doing this to it, and it popped. Good news is, I got a new stress ball, and this is the splat ball. The Jaru splat, splat ball. And it's literally so fun. I love it. It's, it's nice, squishy. And... The sad thing is that we're not allowed to bring like water filled stuff to school, like anything that's like in there's stuff inside that could pop potentially. So I just bring like a tangle and literally I bring a tangle to school and I don't even use it anymore. Uh, I don't know why I don't play it with it. But um, tomorrow we have a test and the teacher says we're allowed to bring any fidgets that don't make noise and that aren't distracting and that can't pop, like they can't pop. And my tangle fits all those descriptions, so does my infinity cube, but it's kind of loud, so we're going with the tangle, and I'm also going to bring a couple mochis, just because I have too many, and I could spare some, so yeah. But anyways, back to what we're going to talk about, which is the book review, and I have, oh, I also have one more piece of good news. I got two new books. I got Counting by Sevens at a yard sale, and I got How to Steal a Dog by Barbara O'Connor. And I love these books, and I will be doing a book review on one of them soon. In the comment section below, guys, tell me what books you got, you guys want me to review, because I, I, I am kind of running out of material here. So, yeah. So, this book is about Gordon. It's, this, is book, this book was written by Gordon Corman, first hint. Second hint, it's a very good book, and I love, I love, I love this book. And so... Now I've been revealing the book, and it's along these shelves. And if you guessed this one, the orange one, you are correct. I'm going to be reviewing The Unteachables by Gordon Corman. This costs $8 on Amazon, and I will link it in the description if anybody wants to buy it, because this book is pretty good. So, I'm going to read the blurb to you guys. The Unteachables are a notorious class of mis misfits, delinquents, and academic train wrecks. They're so bad, they've, remo they've been removed from the student body and isolated in room 117. Their teacher is Zachary Kermit, the most burned out teacher in all of Greenwich. He's living for retirement, but the superintendent has his own plans to torpedo that idea, and it involves assigning him to the Unteachables. The Unteachables never thought they'd find a teacher who had a worse attitude than they did, and Mr. Kermit never thought he would actually care about teaching again. Over the course of a school year, over over the course of a school year though, room 117 will experience mayhem, destruction, and maybe even a shot at redemption. So there that is. And so that's this blurb, and I have my own summary that I wrote, and I'll read to you guys. The Unteachables is about a group of students that have been declared unteachable, and I have my tingle, don't mind it by the school, plus a straggler who doesn't know what they're doing with the Unteachables. Add in a burned out teacher and you get chaos. The Unteachables get into all kinds of mischief and find out about their burned out teacher's history. They try to help, but will it be enough? So that's my summary that I wrote. And also I would love for you guys to leave like constructive criticism is what people call it, but honestly it's just reviews of my review. And I would love if you guys wrote them down or just suggested a new section like I I read other people's comments about it, for example. I'm, I'm not sure. I just, like, any suggestions you have for me, that would be awesome. And, yeah, just a side note. And now my opinion. And I love this book. I literally love it, the pieces. I would read this over, if I had one book in the world, I would consider one of these. Like, if I had one book and I could, I had only one book to read and I could choose whatever book I wanted to in the world, I would consider this, which is a pretty good saying. 
pretty good, saying, like, considering that I have Harry Potter, Percy Jackson, Mysterious Benedict Society, uh, more Harry Potter. I have, I have so many books, and this makes the list. That's pretty good. So, yeah. And I recommend it for anybody with some kind of, like, desire, I guess, or, like, they just like enjoy reading kind of funny slash realistic fiction because this has very little bits of added humor and it just makes the whole story pop, which I think that was one of the, sub like, there's a subtle little jokes, like, couple in there, and I think that's really funny, and that's a very good, like, decision wise choice in writing, and I think that you should obviously get this book. It's amazing realistic fiction book, and it's honestly, if you're like a teacher, um, yes, get it, obviously. I think your students will love it. I obviously loved it. And, you know, my friends, um, my friends don't really enjoy reading, but I feel like they would like this book because it's, it's like very funny. And it's, um, it's not too long. It's not like Harry Potter book five. It's kind of like, it's a little over 200, it's a little over 250 pages ish and so it's not very it might seem like very long to you guys but that's how many pages there are and the words are honestly very big considering i have i have like very tiny print ones so this is like a very good book and it's very short to me and i think i could as a decent reader like just a decent paced reader could probably finish it in less than a week if i consider that if let's say that a re the reader uh i don't know reads 10 minutes a day and the 10 minutes the 10 minutes that's like uh 20 pages i don't know how long it takes for the average reader but you know it won't take too long for them like if you if they just consistently read it it won't even be that long like you'll it'll be done before you know it and i really think that gordon corman should make a sequel to it so if you're watching this gordon corman i really need you to make a sequel to the unteachables and yeah that's all i have to say for this book on teachables and i think it's amazing you should definitely buy it and if you guys like these book reviews drop a like and hit the bell and smash that subscribe button smash it and also side note thank you so much for 50 subscribers i was not expecting my channel to get this many subscribers i was expecting maybe 20. so thank you guys and if i if you guys like have any other store sort of I don't know book reviews like i know i've already mentioned this but if you have a specific book that you're kind of considering but you don't know if you should buy it or not you know then comment down below and i will see if i own that book or if i can buy it for cheap money and maybe review it for you guys so okay that's not enough. anyways so i hope you guys enjoyed this book review i'd get a little distracted in it but that's okay uh we got what i got my point across hopefully and yeah wish me luck on the sign or the reading star or wish me luck on the math star on tuesday and the reading star on thursday and the math the, the, re, the science star on next tuesday and i have no clue when this video will go up i'm assuming it'll be almost the minute i finish recording it but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys later bye